folks, my name is Sarah and welcome back to my channel. So today I come to you with a video that I've done before on my channel, but I stopped doing it for a little while and I have this month's or this quarter's or I don't remember really how often they send them, Indispensable, which is a subscription service that goes through Pals and it is a little bit costly, it's like $40 uh, for the service, but it does come with a really nice slipcase edition of a book. You do get to see what the book is in advance um, and it's signed as well. Um, and this particular one is close to me as a Floridian because the author's Floridian and all the short stories take place in Florida. So let's just get ahead and start opening this. I did give you a sneak peek by saying that. Um, but, you know. So it's always very well wrapped. There's this. Um, then you have your shipping uh, label info thing. And then everything is usually shrink wrapped so that it doesn't move around too much in the shipping. Um, and so, this month we have a couple goodies. So usually what happens is you always have like a goodies. I prefer it when it's mostly like an arc and then something little, uh, but sometimes you get things like uh, postcards that are made out of wood, you get um, nuts, specialty nuts, specialty chocolates. So this month it looks like we have this little um, chapstick and usually they try to do local things, things that are local to the Oregon area. So this looks like it's a basil lime lip balm um, that's made in Portland. So that would be cool to check out. Then you also get a pamphlet that goes with the indispensable uh, the month, and it has like a interview with the author. And I do believe that the interview with the author is available on the Powell's website, um, but it's a little bit more in depth than here, I think. Um, and yeah, so it always gives a little bit extra to the book. And so this month's book is a gorgeous pink, as somebody loves pink, is called Mostly Dead Things by Kristen Arnett. And so this is actually a short story collection from Tin House, I believe, um, that is out now um, for everyone. It's not just like a indispensable uh, book. And you might recognize the cover, now that I take it out of the slipcase, it's been blurbed by Karen Russell, so um, it may be something that for folks who like Karen Russell, um, his little author's signature, the little hearts, which I like. <laughs> um, and the summary is, one morning, oh, it's a novel. I thought it was a short story collection, but you know, it's fine. You don't always know what you're going into, but I know it's very Florida-y, which is what sold me. Um, one morning, Jessa Lynn Morton, walks into the family taxidermy shop to find that her father has committed suicide right there on one of the metal tables. Shocked and grieving, Jess Jessa sets up to manage the failing business while the rest of the Morton family crumbles. Her mother starts sneaking into the shop to make aggressively lewd art with the taxidermied animals. Her brother Milo, with Jaws, struggling to function, and Bryn, Milo's wife, and the only person Jessa's ever been in love with, walks out without a word. As Jessa seeks to seeks out less than legal ways of generating income, her mother's art escalates. Picture a figure of her dead husband and a stuffed buffalo in an uncomfortable sexual position, and Morton's reach a tipping point. For the first time, Jessa has no choice but to learn who these people truly are and ultimately how she fits alongside of them. Kristen Arnett's debut novel is a darkly funny, heart-wrenching, and eccentric look at loss and love. So, Florida has a reputation for being kind of odd, and I feel like this suits that quite well. Um, I'm interested to see how, you know, um, just those interactions with her family go. Uh, obviously, I'm also interested in the queer subtext in the book, just because it sounds like she's in love with Milo's um, wife, which obviously complicates things between the brother and sister relationship. And so, I know that um, a few people on bookstagram have blurred this i know that um chris alonzo has read it and i think he gave it four stars so that's really good i think alexander chi is on the back i was like somebody else an author that i follow has liked this um oh. on top of the chapstick we have a arc 
And so this is also a Tin House arc, um, and it is Divided Me by Zero um, by Laura Vampnyar. Um, and this says, as a young girl, Katya Geller learned from her mother that math was the answer to everything. Now approaching 40, she finds this wisdom tested. She has lost the love of her life. She is in the middle of divorce and has just found out that her mother is dying. It's a theme in this box. <laughs> Half mad with grief, Katya turns to the unfinished notes for her mother's last textbook, hoping to find guidance in mathematical concepts. With human humor, intelligence, and unfailing honesty, Katya traces back her life's journey, her mother's, I mean, her childhood in Soviet Russia, her parents' great love, the death of her father, her mother's career as a renowned mathematician, and their immigration to the United States. She is, by turns, an adrift newlywed, a Yale ESL teacher in an office occupied by witches and medium, a restless wife, an accomplished writer, a failing mother of two, a grieving daughter, and, all the while, a woman in love haunted by a question, how to parse the wild and fathomable passion she feels through the cool logic of mathematics. Well, that sounds really good, too. I always am interested in seeing how people try to cope with their lives and, like, what they, like, what really drives them. Like, for her, it's math, and she looks for answers through math. And that, that type of, I'm always interested in what really drives people to find answers, like, what they look for. Um, and so... That sounds like an interesting uh, story, especially as somebody who is not at all mathematically inclined. Um, that'll be cool to, to read. So I'm very happy with this box. Um, I'm interested in getting to Mostly Dead Things soon, as well as Divided by Zero. And Divided by Zero comes out in October of 2019. So there's a little while to wait. Yeah, that is my video for now. I hope that everyone is doing well and I will talk to you all in another video soon. Bye folks.